What do you think about this? Because I think Palutena wins super, super hard. I've seen Luigi struggles a lot against Palutena just because there's so much priority on Palutena's side, especially with the combos, with the nares, with the back airs. And what does Luigi have? He has down B. <laughs> he does, but this is a matchup that KonKon Con has seen with so much experience that he has having played other top Palus in SoCal, such as Jump Steady. So it's not completely foreign to him. But going around over here, the game plan is Palutena is going to stay away from Luigi, and Luigi is going to always try to get in, but try to get in really slowly. Trying to go in, run up shield to try to shield grab, trying to Zer, uh, Zeran to grab. And you can kind of see it playing out. White Nova doesn't really want anything to do with Luigi. Fantastic jabs to try to get him off. Outranges that dash attack. This time converts the Zeran to the dash attack, so KonKon is finding his opening. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's you have to play this matchup just because once you get grabbed by Luigi, again, the, that's what's said and done. Down throw up B, down throw down air, uh, down throw down B. Yeah, unfortunately for Luigi in this matchup, Palutena is the master of the mid-range, not only with E-Flame, but some of the poking tools, Fair's hitbox in particular. Ooh, tech. fantastic tech, but no grab. He opts to go for the up smash. I think he messed up a bit on the pivot, but wow, up smash killing at that lower percent. Yeah, I'm very surprised White Nova pulled the trigger there. He was playing so safely up until that point. Yeah, but this is like the fallacy against Luigi. You could be beating him for a while, being uh -oh. uh, winning in neutral, but ooh, is this it? No, obstacle for the forward tilt. Just barely not the right range for the zero to death. Yeah, White Nova is quote unquote let off, but only after taking 60%. It helps us to get him off. That's, that's one thing. You really have to go off and edge guard Luigi extremely hard, but you shouldn't go out there and try to snipe him out of all of his resources because even though Luigi has terrible airspeed, he still has resources like a double jump. He still has a side B. He still has an air dodge, you know? You have to wait those out first. Well placed back air there from White Nova, and now the stocks are even. Yep, down B just saying, get off of me. Now you're in disadvantage. Let's see what you're going to do now. Up smash out of shield. Such a good answer to the dash attack. And now that White Nova is at 108%, about the percent he died at last stock, we're probably not going to be seeing too many dash attacks from this point forward. Yeah, I, I'd say he could have taken one more hit before really dying, just because KonKon was at, you know, really, really high rage at that time. But about anything will do, uh, any smash attack will do it for uh, Mr. KonKon against White Nova. Yeah, just tries to roll an up smash, nothing just yet. Fantastic grab from White Nova. And actually missing the grab, that was really unfortunate. But KonKon having that fantastic spot dodge. Yeah, that spot dodge, I thought we, we may have overlooked that, but do not turn past how amazing that was. That is not a, you know, that startup of jab one is pretty active, and he got through all of it. I would say that's actually really reactable to what KonKon was doing. He double jumped side bead, and he was just holding it, right? So. Palutena couldn't really, shouldn't really go out there and instantly counter. She should always wait until she hears Luigi, you know, with doing the startup. Ooh, back air just to get KonKon off stage again, 120%. Really hard to edge guard super far down there, but forward air still getting KonKon just about off the stage. Yeah, did attempt the ledge trump, just didn't quite get the timing right, but still in a very good spot. That back throw should do it. Finally killing at 159, but it's not too little too late, actually. 50%, even though, you know, you could get hit by a lot of percent from Luigi, it's not going to kill. He's out of that zero to death range. Has to find his way. Oh! Ooh. The reverse it down tilt. What is that? Yeah, how thankful is KonKon Con for that? Did get hit by that down tilt, but sent towards the center of the stage instead of back into another pallet ledge trap. But yeah, you can see both of them playing a little scared right now. Game one's... Always the scariest game in the set. You're always feeling the, uh, each other out. It's the most important set. So it's kind of like, dang, what do you do? Do you go all in game one to try to get that map lead? Or do you play really, really safe and learn your opponent for the long game? Your spot dodge from KonKon. Con. Now just has to bide his time. But yeah, KonKon Con really you know, can't do much about this, about the super long range game. He's just going to get chipped out, and once he reaches after 92%, that's exactly what White Nova wants. He could camp him out at that point. Explosive Flame is going to be safe, and another one. Wow. Hunting for up air just doesn't get it enough drift to leave. Oh, wow. Just baits out that air dodge. And let's see the read on the electric. Oh! 
the misfire from Con Con. That's the Luigi main. That Luigi main right there, dude. That's how you know you play Luigi. Right when you need most, he's just like, you know what? I'm a misfire. And you could see the struggler. Even he wasn't expecting it. No one was. No one in this arena was. But he just said, you know, it happens. I, I used Green Missile enough times off stage. Didn't get it. It was bound to happen at some point. Honestly, Green Missile is only good if you're a Luigi main. Because yes. it only happens game three or game five of like last hit game five, you know? Wow, what a time to get it as well. Because if you get it in that first, you know, the first time you used it off stage, you're putting yourself very low down. You're just recovering normally. It's not something that is going to benefit you too much. It might give you a free pass back to stage at most. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Konkon's Con happy about that. Why Nova just kind of shrugging off like, you know what? I could beat him. I was winning the whole game. I just got cheese. Yeah. That's, that's what everybody thinks, you know? I feel like there's also a hidden sort of secondary benefit in that, is that Concon doesn't have to show his cards for the next game, whatever he had as a trump card to take game one. Eh, kind of. He used a lot of the tricks. That's a, that's a problem with being a SoCal veteran and going to so many tournaments. Everybody sees your tricks, everybody sees how you play a lot, and kind of if you go to, if you go to this tournament every single week without practicing during the week, it's kind of like, oh yeah, I just you know, played him last week. Ooh, wow, getting the edge guard, that's going to be it. Snipes out his double jump. Mr. Kong kind of really upset. Thought that he was going to have his up come out a lot sooner. Yeah, I love that opportunism for White Nova. That's something that you have to do. Just have the eye of, of a shark. Just go in whenever you see that double jump being taken away. Okay, White Nova right now doesn't really need an approach. Just very, very smart. Just sit down there, auto reticle. That's the one thing right after you get grabbed by Luigi, Kong Kong dropping that combo. Waiting out that dash attack though and returning from ledge with a Nair. So I really like seeing White Nova back off from Luigi really early because he's very mindful of the down B to say, hey, get off me. Or the Nair to even potentially, you know, get hit. But that was a dude, what was that sequence? Spot dodge down smash. Spot dodge down smash. F smash. As questionable as it is, you have to just throw your hands up and say, hey, it worked. Outskilled, shake my hand, SMH. Like, look, they're basically doing it right now by just both watching each other. <laughs> like, <laughs> that that's his matchup. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes you can't just have those 10-second stalemates or so. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Jigglypuff versus Ice Climbers. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, and getting the triple triple upper, right? All, all I know is he went up throw, like, he went up air boom. That's it. Yeah, Concon stock being taken for the second time this game in double digit percent. And now all White Nova need is to play the slow game. Finally connecting and using that that down B finally. Trading auto radical and a grab. That's a, if you're a Concon fan, you really hate to see that. Clashing to that there though will give Concon the time he needs. I really like Concon trying to call out White Nova for the missed recovery or the slightly high recovery by always doing a dash attack, always doing a forward smash. But it hasn't been working out. White Nova's been really on point with getting his sweet spots. And back air, that should be it. Oh, it just lets it out a little bit too early. Yeah, up smash very active, but not quite that active. Forward smash not quite killing on the wrong half of PS2. Dog, he just ran up an F smash, dude. I love this dude. <laughs> Uh, I would say if you're up a sock and you're out there all the way and you know where Luigi's going to be because he's very linear in his recovery, just go out there and forward him. What's the worst that could happen? He's not going to, he's going to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and finally catching that recovery with the, with the counter finally, you know? He's been doing that for a while and I think that's the first time he's gotten it. Yeah, and, you know, White Nova doing a really good job of putting those frustrations aside from game one saying I easily could have had that, and then luck came into play. Uh, there was a factor that was out of my control. No one saw that misfire coming. Doing a great job of just mentally erasing that and playing his game plan throughout game two. Hey, everybody wave to Fro. Every, everybody put in chat, just like wave to Fro. We love you, Fro. <laughs> Getting back into it. Northern Caves, baby. Now, Konkon is playing really fast. I really like those pivots that he, were doing, that he was doing really early. But unfortunately, a little bit misplayed. 
Yeah, that's the second time that Nova has been grabbed towards the ledge, so I really like his SDI towards the corner, perhaps saying that, okay, you did grab me as Luigi. Let's get, let's minimize the damage here. No extensions. Well, with that being said, White Nova does have drag downs on the platform into potential kill, uh, kill throw, a smash attack, or, you know, anything really cheeky. Fantastic back throw, getting them off stage again. Not uh, opting to not go for the super deep edge guard, doesn't really need to, just hold center stage, but Kong Kong fighting back, getting him with the jab. Kong Kong still applying a bit of pressure with these fares. Very safe on shield, so can get a grab afterwards, especially because Palutena's is fastest out of shield option. Nair at frame eight probably isn't enough, isn't fast enough to contest some mm. of the safe stuff Luigi has. Yeah, back air and a back air, I'm pretty sure is what happened. And oh. that's really, ooh, F smash, such an early kill. You can kind of see Kankan playing Luigi, not really to rush in, but to take up as much space as possible and to show, hey, this is how much I take up, and if you ever get into this zone, I will kill you with the grab. Like now. Oh, never mind. E flame again, but just not able to hit the up air on the string. Still in advantage state. Oh, counters too early and miss tech. No, dude. Kankan's got to be super happy with that. Almost gets the grab, but White Nova really needs to chill out here and just wait a little bit more. Both players kind of conceding, saying, okay, we're just going to play very, very slow now. White Nova's got to go in there, but another green missile misfire. Kankan again just forced into the corner, but in no hurry to leave. You kind of see White Nova trying to fish for the kill now at the ledge. Backer, double backer coming out. Luigi can't really do anything about that. Another misfire, I'm pretty sure. Down tilt. And yep. Yep. Down tilt. Su last such a long move. Down tilt and up tilt. Such a good ledge trapping move. I'm pretty sure that it hits below the stage too. Explosive flame just to try to get him off. But last hit of Nair able to combo into 45%. I'm pretty sure. 49. Oh, almost gets the backer. That could have been death for Kong Kong. There's the grab though. How much can he get off of this? Ooh, fantastic SCI just getting all the way back off the stage. He knows that if he tries to SCI onto stage, he's just going to get hit. That jab too. Went for the grab as a mix up, but White Nova jumped out in time. Ooh, back air just getting him off stage. 83 to 63%. Both characters basically in combo kill percent. The problem here for Kong Kong is he's that not quite full shield. So knowing that something might poke that fair very close to poking, I think Nova knows that. With all these aerials coming out, or sorry, with all these projectiles coming out, Kong Kong's gonna just try to rip it and say, okay, I'm gonna go up. Up smash or F smash, but dude, he grabbed him in mid-air, baby. Yeah, there was a visible reaction from Nova as soon as he got grabbed, knowing Ooh. that, oh my goodness, that is a lot of base knockback. I could be in for trouble if I'm not careful. Dude, these F smashes coming up from Kong Kong, they're so scary. They're just there to read him so well, just to see if he could catch him running in to try to punish an aerial, to try to punish anything. But no punish off of that. Here's the scramble last hit of game three. Oh, and does, decides not to go out for the deep edge guard, wanting to save that trump card in case he ha could do that again next time. But we hit back air off stage. Fireballs avoids the E flame. Dude, this is super, super tense right now. Tries to dash attack, get him off stage again. But Forder finally winning against that trade. What uh, Kong Kong's going to do, in my opinion, I think he's going to rising back air, falling, F smash. Oh, there's oh! a carry! Oh! Kong Kong leaves out of his chair and comes up with not one, but two clutch plays to take the set. That was sick, dude. He reacted to that back air super, super well. So White Nova and Kong Kong, you could kind of see them playing this push and pull game, push and pull game. They're playing a lot of neutral. How low-level players would play that, if they were in that situation, they would want to 